7 a.m. and we are in trouble. You guys, it's 6 a.m. and we're headed at 6.30 and we're headed to the barn to help Chino. The farrier's meeting us there. He just had a high nail. Just means that one of the nails in his shoe went a little bit too high and is touching the sensitive area on his inside there, causing him a little bit of pain. So we're going there. The girls were shocked when they woke up and it was dark. Like they haven't woken up when it's been dark outside in years, except for shows, except for shows. That's why I say it's 5 a.m. and we're in trouble. So I'm there in the car waiting for the girls and they're not even here yet. We'll see how it goes, you guys. All right, we got one girl. Good morning, Sophie. Oh, oh, dang it. <laughs> and we got two girls and she brought a blanket. Oh. That's what I call a smart girl, girl who brings a blanket with her. Stay warm. All right. Going to the barn. Let's do this day, you guys. Remember, wake up every day and go out there and find the mini miracle. God gives so many miracles every single day, and all you have to do is wake up and go out there and find them, recognize them, and notice them. So I'm having trouble. <laughs> hey, look! It's finally not my door open. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble. But we don't really care Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow But it will still be there No, they don't pick us up Instead they knock us down And that's the way it goes Until Hi, handsome. Hello. So you guys know Chino's like our sweetest, most gentle, loving, kind boy. Today, he was down getting water. We were here early, so I was able to watch them interacting. He was down getting water, and when he came back up to the hay to get, to start eating again, he just ran like a, like a, he just ran like a tiger and just charged the other two horses to like let them know that he's still in charge. And it hurts me to see him like that. Even though I know it's normal horse behavior, still sucks like I don't know if he's a good leader <laughs> you need to be kind leader oh yeah it is cold I need to pee so bad but it's just too cold for that there's a heater on in there oh no don't step in it it's cold like way too cold oh this room is warmer for sure, and we can see the horse. <laughs> Sorry, you're on your own. You're on your own, Chino. We're in here with Mr. Kitty. Whew. Is it a boy? I think it's a boy. Thumper. He's got a nice little bed over there. This chair is like broken, but I'm gonna stop. Oh. Waiting for the farrier or the massage person and like doing that kind of stuff has always been the hardest part of having horse. Totally a necessary part, but when you're here, this early in the morning, oh man. So, all right, he pulled the nail and everything's good. And he said that it seems like that's probably what it was. Uh, Chino is always extra, extra special. Uh-oh. Extra special. <laughs> He's so extra special. So one thing that I love about coming to the barn, even when it's not a riding day, is that we try and do like, all these exercises, our chiropractor and our and our massage therapist are always telling us like, you should do these exercises. These exercises are so good for your horses. And so every time we come, we try and do them, keep our horses limber and like, look at that boy. There was a time like long ago where one side he did, wouldn't go as far and now he's doing so good. Underneath. These are just the carrot stretches that we do, but we do other stretches for their legs. The we do all these leg stretches. That was not the end. <laughs> but Chino will go anywhere for a carrot. <laughs> like, it's amazing to see how far our horses have come with all the stretches. Like, it's just crazy. That's it for you. Good job. Good job, Chino. Carrot stretches in the field, you guys. <laughs> Chino, what? Oh, there's a water bottle. Here, come here, Chino. Here, come here. You gotta let him have his. Wait, here, let me bring him. Come on. 
Penny can do it. <laughs> and then Grayfin over here doing his carrot stretches. <laughs> Cabby fell down a hill. I'm trying to hold Chino from trying to steal everybody's carrot. Put it between his legs. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. All right, we're all done? Yeah. All right, watch out, Sophie. Minus the part where Gabby found, fell down the hill. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I fell down the hill too. You're not coming. <laughs> Here, take this water bottle. It's not mine. No, it isn't mine. Hey, Chino. Man, he got grouchy. Like, it's amazing how you can take somebody who is so sweet and so kind, give him power, and then he turns like, Insane. Bye, Finny. Bye, handsome. We'll be back, okay? <laughs> He's like, scratch me. Hey, you be nice. Well, I, just wanna say hello. I hate that. Even our barn has a little tiny bit of snow and ice in it. And then you guys know our arena got messy, but I'm thinking it's like we're not so bad in the barn and the horses can come in and stuff. Hi, Gracie. Uh-oh. Here they come. I promise it'll be a riding time soon. Okay. It's just like such bad footing. Fine. Oh, you're going to go with him? You're following him? I can't even believe it. <laughs> Normally Penny doesn't care if Sam's there, even if he's got the hay, because I'm here. And I always have carrots. She's like, okay. <laughs> so when I bought Penny and she had like crusty eyes, I tried so many things to fix it. You guys saw in the vlogs. And if I put her on like a liver cleanse, they'll clear up a bit. Oh, but they always go back to this, like this kind of messy. And she was like that when I bought her and I thought I could fix it. And I've had the vet check it two times. And so now we just live with it. Leave my eyes alone. <laughs> Hi, Minnie Minnie. I cannot wait for not furry season. Yeah. Like I thought that her eyes being dirty like that would bother me. It doesn't bother me. I'm sure it bothers her more than anyone. Oh, so when I bought her, I thought I could fix her eyes. We fixed so many things. Not that she was in bad shape. She wasn't, she was in excellent shape, but we fixed like she had that uh, fecal water and she had the eye thing and she had a problem with her teeth too and we were able to fix everything except for that little thing about the eyes and we did try we tried so many things and a lot a lot of it is probably because she rolls her head around in her bed and gets shavings in there hi handsome did he feed you, did you uh, he's obviously being fed <laughs> yeah did he feed you oh goodness i just love a cute kitty oh, you're cute and you're cute too. Yes, you are. Oh, look at she's just like pet my pet my nose. <laughs> I'm short now. <laughs> I'm short now. Um, I'm in a stress ball, and it's oobleck inside, so you have to be very gentle. And if you be hard, then there's like no way you can. So use it. yeah. So what is oobleck, Sophie? Tell them what um, is oobleck. It's when you're like hard with it, then it like hardens up. And with, when you're soft with it, it like melts. Oh, I'm a popper of stress balls, yeah, you guys. Yeah, you are. I pop everything. So Sophie likes to make stress balls. It's Ublick is baking soda, no, cornstarch and water. Yeah. So it's kind of like that weird feeling, that weird okay. stuff. It's so easy to squeeze when it's just like this. And then it's so hard to squeeze. Yeah. My hands are shaking. I don't see it. Every time I turn the camera on, the dogs come running because they're like, yes, it's our turn. So knowing my mom, she's going to have this at her computer. Yeah, I steal all of them. She even stole one of my brand new fidgets. Yeah, I do. And yeah. I took it back and yelled at her. Fidget toys are not just for children, you guys. Okay, so who knew that the end of winter 2022 
would be the year of the puppies because it's just been so cold and so icy and so yucky outside we haven't been going out and doing all the things that we normally do so we got some treats and i have another idea of things that i want the girls to try with the puppies so these are organic flax and sunflower seed butter it's because it's the only thing my dog dog biscuits they're the only ones that sophie's dog can eat because she's a dalmatian and they have food issues all right so the one that we're gonna do is the one where you make a row of dog treats and then you play like the Mario sound and you have to make your dog sit at the end of the row and wait. Oh, that's easy. And then when we tell them to go. You get it and they race. You, you let them go and then they eat all the treats up to, like so there's a line of treats and then you make your dog sit there and wait. How long is the row gonna be? She's warm. I don't know, do like, you're gonna have to, so I'm gonna give you guys five minutes to practice Getting your dog to do this, it's a waiting thing. So you have to. I never trained my dog how to stay. I know, we have not really trained our dogs to stay. Like, stay, stay. just simple. No, <laughs> She's like, I know all the stuff. Well, my dog won't eat it if I say no. No! <laughs> no! Hey, wait! Wait! Sophie, no matter how loud you say wait, she's not gonna hear it. Wait, it's. <laughs> all right. Stay. So. They're gonna practice. Stay, no eating it. Ruby's in her crate, she wants to do it too, but we can't do three at a time and film. Three no. Is How long do I have to make this? <laughs> Your dog. Is that long enough? Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, so. Oh, don't say any words. Don't say any words. She's Let's like, please, oh. please. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn it, Molly. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she likes she them. She doesn't like them. Eat it backwards. Eat it backwards. Eat it. Are we going to go to our cage? We're going to run away. Oh, here we go. Get it. Get it, Molly. Get it. Get it, girl. Can I break these in half? Yeah, let's break them in Good half. Girl. Good job. Because my dog's not even chewing it. She's going like a chew. She, she, she did it. She actually did it. Chew it. That's amazing. And this dog over here. She did it. Oh, she did it. Yeah, so let's cut them in little pieces. Or do you guys want to use cheese instead? Because no. we know. <laughs> Ruby's and Molly's like, oh, we'll eat them all. All right, so you guys saw it. I'm going to now do a shoot the tip TikTok and see if I can get it. All right, so. Let's just say this is how Daisy's Let's just say that this is how Daisy's went. Daisy's went bad. I had to put down my camera to make the TikTok. So if you want to see the TikTok, go and follow us on TikTok. OG day by day. I think it's underscore OG day by day. But just reassure, uh, just so you guys know, it was Molly that won. Daisy that failed. <laughs> hey, it's because I don't know an okay word. Yeah. Now, it's <laughs> She's like, so then we let Ruby out, and she's like, I know there was something fun going on. <laughs> I'm gonna train my dog with these treats, and I might have to open up that other bag because my dog acts like she's not learning, but when she gets it every once in a while, to keep me training. All right, last thing. Sophie wants to redeem herself. Her dog did not do the TikTok very well. No, no. Molly did it really well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but Daisy can do this. <laughs> She can weave, you guys. I'm training. Daisy right can weave. Safe to say.